Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I will be doing today the final video on this Reborn Girl Saskia, um, the last video that I made. It is, I show you guys how I style her hair and there is a link above to this video. But anyway, in this final video I am going to show you guys how I groom her lashes. So I hope you enjoy that. And I do want to share with you guys that for uh, rooting the lashes, I use a three barb needle. I don't remember exactly the size right now, but I don't use my fork needle, the 42G that I use for rooting. Um, just because I find it a little bit difficult to do or to use when it comes to the lashes. But I do want to also let you guys know that while I'm waiting for the lashes and the eyes to dry, I did put a magnet behind her little lips so that she can take a magnetic pacifier. Before I go ahead and show you guys how I groom the lashes, I want to get a little bit close to the lash line and show you guys exactly how her lashes are rooted. And I do apologize if the camera goes in and out of focus, but I just want to give you guys an idea of the rooted lash line. And the lashes or the hair is inside of the vinyl head. And what I do is with the eye, I push the hair upward so then the eyes or um, yes, the eyes are holding the lashes in. But I do also set the lashes with glue to give them an extra reinforcement and I'll show you guys that um, a little bit down the line. But anyway, let's get to the best part of this video and that is grooming the lashes. I know a lot of people have already seen this but I am still posting this because um, I know there's um, a lot of new Reborn art artists almost every day so I feel like I can still introduce this concept to some people. So the way that I groom the lashes or that I make the lashes stand up because if you guys notice when the lashes are just rooted if you were to cut them they will not have a natural curl um, so that so this is the trick to make them curl up nicely so after I wet the lashes with my fingertips and I groom them upwards I allow them to dry for 10 to 15 minutes and this is what it looks like after 10 to 15 minutes you can see that they have a lift but I feel like it's not a a the lift is not enough so um, what I do is I wet the lashes again with my fingertips and I comb them upwards and then um, I allow the lashes to air dry again for 10 to 15 minutes and then um, I will show you guys what that looks like afterwards. But before we get to that part, I'm going to show you guys the tools that I use to glue the lashes in. Um, I like to use this e.l.f. concealer brush that I find at Target, and it's only 99 cents or a dollar. And then I use Mod Podge, and I use the glossy version of the Mod Podge. And in the background, you can already see her eyelashes are starting to unglue from her face. But anyway, this is what they look like after a second time of... Um, doing the technique of with water and allowing them to air dry so now i'm going to use my brush and with just the tip i'm going to dip it in the glue and just a little bit of glue and then i'm going to go ahead and apply it right on the lash line um, this is this will keep the lashes in place but it would also give your lash line a watery effect so just like how eyes look um, just a natural watery lash line so I really like doing my lashes this way I find that this is the best way that works but I do want to point out that you have to be very careful and only keep the glue on the lash line because I have made the mistake of keeping the glue not only on the lash line but I go and I apply it on the hairs and then like my wife said they look like the lashes will look like little spider legs because it clumps with other lashes or other hairs and they get really hard and it just doesn't look very natural so um i feel like this is the best way to get a natural um 
natural lashes on your reborn doll. So I'll go ahead and let you guys watch this and then I'll come right back. So after about 20 minutes, the glue has completely dried and now I'm going to go ahead and cut the lashes and I'm using the same scissors that I used in my hair cutting video which I'll go ahead and put a link right up above but they are specific hair cutting scissors and I do think it matters which kind of scissors you use um, and then I just go ahead and start trimming away I do like to make the lash at first kind of long um, and then I very slowly I start making it shorter and shorter I don't like to start short because then um, you know you can't make the lash grow back so um, I go ahead and I cut them a little bit longer and then like I just said I will go ahead and start cutting it shorter and shorter and shorter until I get the length that I'm looking for or the length that makes the eye look realistic it really just depends on what I'm looking for So here she is and her lashes are completely done now. I do apologize that I don't go into detail exactly how you should cut the lashes. Um, I honestly feel like the more you try it, the better you will get at it. But one thing I always keep in mind is that the lashes that are closer to the corner of the eyes or closer to the nose, I do keep those a little bit shorter. And then once you're going towards the temple, so. Um, towards the ears I do keep those a little bit longer and they also get progressively longer from the inner eyes to going outwards towards the ears they get a little bit longer and here is little Saskia before hair before eyelashes um, and I feel like she looks so different um, I definitely definitely do love her bald but wow with hair and with lashes it just finishes up the look this little baby is now on her way to her mommy in Canada and I cannot wait for her to receive her but anyway guys if you enjoy my videos I'll go ahead and put here four videos of you for you to choose from um, that you can go ahead and watch they are more doll making videos and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye